I remember those times when I used to play games like Mario or Contra and play them all day long, even go to my friend's house and play with them or even like beat each other's scores, that would be pretty cool and my dad would be screaming and calling me be like, don't you have to study? Don't you want to become a big man and earn big money? And now, few years later, my dad doesn't even talk about me sitting in front of the computer 24 hours a day. Almost 24 hours a day. <laughs> but once I moved towards online gaming, I saw people having this weird behavior and being toxic about whether you are a gamer or not. For a long time, and maybe even today, people have a list, a certain list of games which makes you a gamer. For example, if you're playing CSGO, well, you're a gamer. But if you're playing Uncharted, what is that game? Are you a gamer? Playing Mario doesn't make you a gamer. Playing Animal Crossing doesn't make you a gamer. First of all, if those certain list of games it makes you a gamer, then how come I don't see you in this esports league? How come you're not in one of their teams? You must be one of those guys who must be showing off to number of people and then somebody exposes you, you shoot your pants in the public. As far as I remember, playing games is us supposed to having fun, having some kind of entertainment and for many people it's also a way to get out from the real life and land into this life of having fun. Also, here is the definition of a gamer if you search it on Google. A person who plays video games or participates in a role-playing video... You know what? Just ignore that one. Just ignore the other one. It's a person who plays games. That's it. Wait, hold on. I did not know there was a movie named Gamer. Um, try to beat the system. But no one has ever survived. What, what, what the hell is this? What, what the hell is this? Anyway, for me, games are a thing to enjoy, no matter what type of game it is, whether it's horror, racing, arcade, role-playing, multiplayer, whatever game it is, I just love to play any kind of game that I like. Games like Mario brought my love into video games. Games like Contra is where I stuck with video games and for the first time I played a boss battle. I spent hours and hours of my time playing those games. Actually, I was given only 2 hours a day, so I spent days and days playing the game. When I got my first PC, I played so many hours of Road Rash, it was a demo, played Project IGI, played GTA Vice City because I was rolling all the way up in my school times. Yes, I did play CS 1.6, but I used to go to cafes with my friends to play that game. Again, it's one of those games that I don't like, but I had some kind of fun when I played it with my friends. And now I just don't like the game at all, so I don't play them. And yes, there are lots of games, lots of games that I just don't like to play. And many of them are actually these uh, FPS esports titles. For example, CSGO, I don't like playing. For example, Valorant, I don't like playing those games. Any try-hard games where people are literally ranking up, trying to rank up every single match as they play, because then what happens? Everyone becomes toxic. I don't want to be a part of a toxic environment. I just want to have fun. Even though I don't get any kills, any wins, I just want to have fun. And if there is no fun, What's the fun in that? See? I make complete sense. But in general, what is not to love about games? The soundtrack, the visuals, the acting, the gameplay, everything, all of that in one game. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't it epic? This year alone, I had the biggest experience with Last of Us Part 2, a game that I still remember step by step, or games like Ori and the Will of the Wisp. My god, that game is so beautiful, and yet it is so hard. Every person has a choice of playing games, whether it's playing online or playing story games. In India, we mostly see YouTubers playing these multiplayer games such as PUBG, Call of Duty, Valorant, CSGO and more. Guys like Kariminati, Tanmay Bharat, Raka Zone Gaming and many more in India play these games and I admit, I don't play those games but it's fun to watch them sometimes. Even those people play some single player games. If they like those single player games, they will definitely try to play those single player games. The only bad side is how people then request these guys to play PUBG over and over again, which, which is a big letdown. But still, these guys also play single player games. And just take India aside, let's take all over the world. Guys like Shroud, Dr. Disrespect, these guys also play these single player games. Guys like Courage, they play single player games. They were playing Among Us for a few days ago, a few months ago even. Stroud was right now playing Cyberpunk 2077. So are those guys not gamers anymore? Now the reason I'm making this video because I saw a post on Facebook where certain someone was calling out all these gamers and saying that they're not real gamers. How Animal Crossing is not a real gamer, how Mario is not a real gamer. You really need to play those games that can challenge your skills. For example, games like Bloodborne I believe or you know, all these multiplayer games and then only you are a gamer. Now I believe that people go on a rant like this or post like this because they got owned by a team in multiplayer or they cannot beat a boss battle in Dark Souls or Bloodborne. Maybe they're crying in some corner and then typing that message out. It's like when people are sad, they remove the profile pics from the WhatsApp. 
It's like the same with singers and actors. Some people say if you don't sing these type of songs, you're not a singer. If you don't act in these ways, you're not an actor. Well, there's no certain rule book or steps to follow that makes you a singer, a actor, a dancer or a gamer. Why define yourself based on certain things when you can literally do everything? If playing games interests you, then just play the game. That's it. That's all there is to do it. If you're playing Asphalt 9 on mobile, why not go ahead play? You are a gamer. Even Candy Crush makes you a gamer. Why not? Also, truth be told, mobile has actually really cool games that you guys just don't know about it yet. Games such as Monument Valley, such a beautiful looking game with puzzles, Alto's Adventure, another beautiful looking game, Plants vs Zombies man, dude that's my favorite game, I would probably install it once again. There's so many lovely games that if you actually look around, you will find them very much enjoyable. And no, mobile is not only filled with Subway Surfers and Temple Run, there's more games than that. Try to search, try to actually look for games. Yes, the mobile gaming scene is more popular by games like PUBG Mobile or COD Mobile, but there are still some really valuable games that you can play. So instead of complaining how mobile gaming sucks, try to find out games that actually does not suck at all. Also the funny thing is how these people who are telling mobile gaming sucks, they say people don't support PC gaming. Dude, have you even bought a PC game? Because in India, especially in India, most of the games are pirated. So right then and there, you're not supporting PC gaming at all. It's sad to see that Indian developers who made games like Razi, Asura, Rainswept, Bonfire aren't supported or even known by many Indian gamers. Games like Razi was based on Hindu mythology but they released their game first on Nintendo which is not even supported in India. And why? Well, they know that this game won't do good in the Indian market. And the reason? Well, everybody just pirates the game so who's gonna buy it? So first of all, learn what supporting PC gamers mean. That means buying the games that they make. If you're not buying the games, you're not supporting any PC games. So first of all, try to buy games and then talk about not supporting PC games. Anyway, in the end, I would just like to say if you want to play a game, play whatever you want to play a game. You are a gamer without a doubt. Whatever game you're playing, you are a gamer. There's no book that you can find online which says these are the steps that will make you a gamer. No, there's no such thing like that. I will be just playing a game only for fun and if somebody joins with me in a multiplayer game and thinking that they can increase their rank, oh boy, let me tell you, that is not a good ride you want to have with me. So instead of talking about who is a gamer and who is not a gamer, play games in any platform so that it's Xbox, Nintendo, mobile, PC and even PlayStation. There are so many games coming out and that's the best thing, we can play games in any system you like and all of these games are really really awesome. So definitely get the games if you can, play them and man enjoy it. Well I hope you guys understand who is really a gamer in this very video. If you did, leave a like and if you think that mobile gamers are not a gamer, then leave a dislike, you can do that as well. Comment down below what do you think about this whole topic about being a true gamer or no. And definitely keep on subscribing to my channel, we're so close on 600 subscribers and I hope that we can make that till the end of the year. Again thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.